Hey guys, Ryan here for Bender Wins. Uh, we got four in a row yesterday. Um, we're going for five in a row today. Yesterday, uh, again, didn't really like the way the game started and uh, loved the way the game finished. So we, we ended up covering final uh, final score. They ended up getting eight runs. We were under eight and a half. Uh, so we'll take it. Um, you guys like notice that someone was commenting, it's like, we always seem to be on the under. Well, yeah, because the public is typically on the over. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, subtleties to that. And obviously, uh, if, if you were to bet every single over, um, going back like 15 years, just every single over, uh, you would have got absolutely crushed, like crushed. But if you bet every single under, going back that same time frame, um, you'd be down, but not significantly. Like, I think you're probably down, you know, 1%, something like that. Uh, 1% of, like, you know, your overall minus 1% ROI, I guess, is the best way to look at it. Where betting the overs, you'd be down, like, 7 8% ROI, like, lose 7 or $8 for every $100 you bet. So, under is naturally what we want to look at. We do bet overs because there's advantages in overs, but... Uh, we, we do tend in baseball to look towards the under and a few other sports as well. And we find a lot more advantages on that. So without further ado, um, here's today's pick. So we have Cleveland is playing in Tampa Bay. Um, we like Tropicana Field for a number of reasons. Uh, it's a, a static environment. Um, typically, it's a very good under stadium. Um, it's one of those stadiums like, you know, we talk about Wrigley Field with the wind blowing in. Um, Tampa Bay is right up there with, uh, in terms of being a good under. So naturally when we, we see games playing there, we see games at, uh, um, you know, Colorado, we, Colorado, we, you know, we're going to have a look at the over and see what that looks like. Um, we don't like that today, but, um, you know, we looked at Tampa Bay and like, it looks really good for an under today. So we start digging deeper and, uh, you know, find that there's a ton of money on the over but the line hasn't changed really. Um, you know, it's it's actually gone the opposite way where it's gone to, um, it's it's still at eight and a half, but uh, you're paying a little bit more juice for the under on it. And that's still with about 75% of the money on the over. So again, you would think with all that money, Vegas want to even it out. They'd probably put it up to nine, maybe even nine and a half with that amount of money, but they're not moving it, which again, leads me to believe that the, uh, the Vegas line makers, they want the money to come in on the over. So um, we, were, we were really liking the under, and then, uh, then I looked to see who's umpiring. And to my surprise, Mr. Vic Carapazza. Thank you, Vic. Um, we owe Vic a huge round of applause for getting us that win the other night when he decided he was going to take over the game and get 25 strikeouts uh, for us. So uh, we're going to be back on the under again. Surprise, surprise, with Vic Carapazza in Tampa Bay, I like the under without Vic Carapazza. I love the under with Vic Carapazza umpiring. Again, he's, he's you know, number one, number two in terms of the best under umpires. But this is a guy that just, he controls the game. I have no idea what his deal is. But, you know, we love him as betters, especially under betters. And uh, so that's our bet today. We're going uh, Cleveland at Tampa Bay. Under eight and a half, guys. Um, if you guys could like and subscribe, I tell you, it, it really does help. And I really, really do appreciate it. And as always, guys, have a very lucky day.